welcome for this new tutorial on Falcon BMS. Today what we're going to do is go into the MUD and start configuring our devices. This is probably what people fear the most and I'm going to go into the trouble of making it in front of you. I've not prepared anything. I'm going to do it row on the camera here on the brand new VM where I've connected my controllers and see how it goes. So it might take a while depending on what I want to achieve. There are a couple things that I might be able to do, some others I might not. It depends. I don't know the result, but we'll go through it together through that video. So first thing first is a couple things that you can do. Um, the first thing is to check if your um, controllers have been recognized correctly. So what I usually cons um, um, consider is first going to the joystick. So you would see uh, USB game controllers. This is definitely what I want to hear and see here. So the joystick is here. Um, I, we can check the properties and see if this is recognized correctly. As you see, the axes are moving correctly. The buttons are recognized correctly. And I'm happy with that, including the point of view hat that is definitely working. Um, I'm going to hit OK. Same thing for the Warthog, checking that everything is set properly. This is the case. Uh, everything seems to be set. Buttons are working and it OK. And I've got also my T rudder connected to it. So if we check the properties as well, Z axis, X, Y axis, this is working. Uh, we've got it working here and we're pretty sure that everything will be working smoothly for the first setup into the game. So I'm going to go through the traditional way of doing it. Um, if you don't want to go into something, and I would definitely try and recommend having something first, is that as I explained in a previous video, we're going to go into Falcon BMS folder, user, uh, config, as we did it before, and we're going to check the full key here. Um, so copy, paste. So we've got a copy of the full key, which I do recommend keeping uh, as that. And name it as as you like. I'm going to name it Max Waldorf, uh, obviously. And I'm going to use that key file to actually be able to um, edit uh, through Falcon the keys that I need. Um, so I can I can actually make that work as I want. Um, so I would say let's jump in. Um, I'm going to uh, close that out. Um, I've already got um, Falcon BMS Alternative Launcher, and I'll guide you through it just after. Uh, I've already downloaded the package, uh, which is current version is 1.51. And I've already downloaded the package and I extract it into um, into the game at some point uh, later in the video. Um, the I'll put the uh, the link into the description to be honest. So I'll keep that somewhere um, in the video. So I'll I'll, I'll link it to you um, through the comments on the video, and hope it will be useful. So let's jump into Falcon launch and see what it does. All right, so we've got a bit of setup here to do because it's far too low on the screen. So this is a first setup. Let's go and exit and remember what we did before into the cockpit display extraction uh, as we did not set up correctly. Um, I would put that to 150, save and close, should be good and launch it. There we go. It's far better, as you can see. So it's more or less centered. I could refine it, but I'm okay with that. Um, and then we're going to set that up in terms of controllers. So we've got... The first thing I would suggest is going to the logbook. Um, I'm going to change the name here to something that it suits me. Um, so... I can hit OK 
and now the logbook will reflect my name so I do recommend having that if you want to create a new user you can but I do recommend having only one active then you can switch a squadron and there are a lot of uh, patches available if you want to change that you definitely can I'll keep the stick to this one uh, you can change also the voice uh, there we go anyway uh, since we're into controller setup um, I'm just going to do a few things before we go to that. I'm just going to have interface sounds lowered a bit, as well as the music uh, turned very low. Um, and if you want to change a bit the uh, send in the sound in game, I would recommend having that lowered a bit. I don't change those settings by default. Um, you can remove the player voice if you need, or also. Um, change the UI chatter if, if requested. I'm going to hit apply so I uh, know it's going to be applied now. Um, a few things about the graphics. So I'm using a VM so the 3D here will be selected. Um, I can go full screen and I do recommend that you do that on first launch. Um, it's definitely going to be a 180 resolution so this is going to be this one quality zero because I cannot really do anything in that. Um, reflection known um, and going to remove all of that because I definitely don't want this is a VM I don't I don't need that to be honest so bloom reduce it as well always a bit too much tree density grass density um, because this is a VM I don't I don't want to have that too much um, uh, consuming resources here anyway hit apply again and we're going to go into simulation um, Definitely recommend you start with the ACE uh, factor uh, because otherwise it's going to be too easy. Um, here you can go for 900 megs uh, for the Acme file so you don't have too many uh, little files uh, in when you record your flight. And I would definitely strongly suggest that you go with smart scaling. Hit apply. Once we've done that, we can definitely go now into the controllers. So a couple of things here that you need to do um, is first you're going to have the joystick. Joystick is the one that you want to go for. The controller, this is the main controller you're going to use and this is the one reflecting the X and Y axis. As you can see, it's already recognized and it's already working. Um, yeah, I'm touching the buttons as, we, as we're currently checking. As you can see here in the input, there's nothing assigned for now, but that's normal. I don't really mind for now. Um, I, I just, um, there's a couple buttons assigned, but who cares? It's working fine and uh, it does recognize the joystick. It does recognize as well the um, uh, th th throttle um, and you can see the button, the button number here changing depending on the button I'm currently ch uh, um, moving around and pressing. Um, those are all the keys that we you want to go for. Um, and um, as we said earlier, if you want to load another profile is, for example, I want to load, lo uh, lo uh, load the uh, Max Welder one. So I'm going to load it. And now it's selected. So I have now current key file is the one that is custom for me. I don't want to use one by default uh, from um, the game setup. Um, so now what you're going to do before assigning keys uh, around is go into advanced and there's a couple things that we're going to change here. Um, on that page, um, if you got anything in similar to uh, track IR, I would definitely strongly suggest that you enable the enable 3D cockpit track IR and track IR vector. Those things are important when it comes to um, uh, having tracker enable it within the game um, and then uh, the first thing that you would go for uh, would be uh, the um, so this one this is the z-axis I usually use that as well uh, track air again and then for the flight controls so this is where you want to assign the axis from within the game if you wanted to do it from Falcon BMS so for example here my 
rudder is going to be the T rudder, and I know that this the Z axis is the one for the for the for the rudder. As you can see now, I'm moving my rudder, and it definitely shows that it recognized the axis. Now about the throttle axis. Uh, the throttle axis is the one from the HOTAS Warthog, um, the throttle one. Um, if I remember correctly, the Z axis, is, no, the Z rotation axis is the left one. So this is the throttle axis and this is the left one. As you can see, the right engine axis is going to be this one. So the Z axis for the throttle is going to be the right one. As you can see, I have... Um, uh, I have a gate. Um, I have changed the configuration of my throttle to actually have the af afterburner um, uh, ma ma Well, actually, it's. It, I have to. Um, yeah, I have to go over the small detent uh, for the um, afterburner, and it's definitely here. You can see it's not moving forward, although I'm pressing it. Um, so there's something about it, and I'll set up it later, as you as you will be able to see. So yeah, again, this is a Warthog. It's pretty advanced OTAS, but this is probably the way you would like to do it uh, from an OTAS perspective. So I'm going to take the really uh, good profile for that. Um, all right, so that is the left brake. The left brake is no, not this one. Sorry, is the T rudder. Um, left brake, definitely this is the one, and I am in the correct stage. If you need to reverse the axis, you need to tick that box. Um, it depends on, on what, if the if the gauge starts full and decrease when you press it, basically you know you need to hit reverse here. Uh, pitch axis, roll axis, this is already defined. As you can see, it's moving around. There's nothing to do here. I'm happy with that setting, so we'll stick to it. Now, avionics control. Um, radar antenna. Um, so, uh, this is where we're going to have a couple of things. It's up to you to decide what you want to do with that. I usually use a slider, and you can see if I go up, it decreases. So, I'm going to hit reverse here. Um, you can have also a saturation, um, uh, but I do not recommend. There are a couple other things that you could be doing in, instead. Um, cursor. This one is important. So cursor X definitely going to for the X axis and Y axis. And this one needs to be inverted because going up, yeah, I usually invert that to represent the uh, tracking cursor on the MFD. If you have other things that you need to set, everything is through, through that, and you need to probably change the reverse uh, depending on the settings. So the first thing is now I've set the axis, I'm happy with the way it is, and as you can see now, the axes are recognized. Um, so rudder is here, you can see it now, it's showing up uh, left, right, uh, so left and right full. And now what we're going to do is set up the afterburner detent. So um, I want to go and have the afterburner at max position from uh, the throttle uh, before the detent. So I'm going to hit here, afterburner idle. As you can see, the, the green bar here has switch from the up position to there. So whenever I go over the detent, now I'll be in afterburner mode, as you can see there. Uh, so that's really convenient. There's another trick. Um, if I had, for example, a detent, if uh, here a small amount, for example, here on the afterburner, then you can hit, um, you can right click on it, and then you go, there's a red bar here, meaning that if I go above that bar, it will go from cut off to idle. So I don't want to do that because this is not going to work uh, for me, which means that I'll leave it at zero and I'll do that with other tricks. There we go. Um, this, is, this is the row base setup of the key file. Um, and then we're going to fiddle a bit, especially thanks to 
um, alternative launcher was going to be probably your best shot at it. If you want to uh, check and, and assign some keys directly to your uh, key file, you can always click on the line here and then press a button and it will affect, uh, allocate the button to the key that you've pressed. I do not recommend that obviously for because it will alter the way the configuration file is because it will flatten everything in a file for perspective uh, there are other ways to do it but for now assigning the axis is fairly easy and i do recommend it now hitting apply okay and exiting bms a first time now we've exited bms what we're going to do is go now into the um, user config folder they should be a couple of new things coming up um, for example access mapping was not there before and it's been created um, thanks to to that the device the, the device um, sorry the device sorting here has been created as well so let's go into it and we'll see the access the joystick order so that's the joystick number one, which would go from the DirectX perspective from 0 to 31. So 32 keys, 0 to 31. And this one would be to from 31 to 63, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which because it will be the second, uh, the second device. And this one will be from 64 to 85. Um, and uh, definitely... Uh, those usually you don't want to have over one uh, 256 keys assigned because of the shifts the shift functions that PMS offers um, so there we go we have the correct order here if I had the MFDs connected what I would like to do probably is have the joystick first the throttle second and the, the MFD1, MFD2, and then the rudder last. So if you need to edit that file, I do recommend editing, editing it manually. Don't forget to close BMS before because it's very, uh, you need to have that the BMS closed before you start editing that file because otherwise it will probably be overridden by uh, BMS when it closes. So I do recommend having that file sorted out. Um, there is something that you could be using as well. So remember, in, fo in Falcon BMS, there is a doc folder. Um, there is an input devices. And then here, there's already something about HOTA setup. This is something interesting because, for example, I do have a joystick that is already preset from a BMS perspective. So what do I need to do here? Um, there are a couple of things that I need to do um, and a couple documents that are um, offered. So the device sorting, for example, it now offers MFD1 and MFD2, the, the device sorting files that we had before. So it's currently in the correct order. I'm okay with that, and I don't have MFDs connected to the to the to the machine, so I don't need that. Um, and then DirectX uh, lines. So th those are the lines that are added uh, on top of the key file that will give the instruction of what you need to have uh, in terms of uh, um, joystick keys allocation. So this is the key file. I can copy this one. I don't want the MFDs, so I take the plain one, for example. Go back to um, the user folder, config, and then paste it here. I'm going to paste it here. So you see now basic DX uh, Warthog key. So it's already there. Uh, there's already, there should be already everything that I require inside it uh, for my throttle and my, um, uh, yeah, and joystick. So what I can do now is launch Falcon BMS. There we go. Then I go to setup controllers and then what I'm going to do is load the key file so you see it's now in the selection here list and I'm going to load it in theory now when I press the DM, the TMS up you see now it's allocated check the box here the, the zone here is everything's allocated so right left everything's up the DMS part first detent second detent Every, everything is already pre-assigned so that's that's cool that's very very convenient um, 
paddle switch. Everything's everything is already set up. The access has been have been saved. Um, uh, not the uh, yeah eject the handle. Um, there are a couple of things that are pre-allocated. Yeah, okay, so keys are already pre-allocated here. As you can see, some are working, some are not. Um, um, it's okay. Um, it's, it's just the default configuration. So if you want to stick to this one, go for it. It's okay. I, I don't really mind. Uh, everything's in there, and you should stick to it. Uh, going to press OK and um, exit, and now we're going to give um, the alternative launcher a go, um, just to see uh, and, and show you a couple things. All right, so now we've got the alternative launcher. So what it recommends, it says you need to extract it in the x86 folder. So it has replaced the hub. Okay. Um, more info, run anyway. All right. So now the hub is the Falcon BM, uh, the Falcon BMS alternative launcher. So it offers a couple of things here that are essential when it comes to different tools that you might see, yeah, you might need. So the launcher, config, display, all the things are available through here. And then you can have third-party tools like, such as Weapon the Planner, Mission Commander, Weather Commander, and Falcon 4 Real Weather Converter. Um, to select directly here the uh, theater that you have already installed and the um, information or, or active, uh, white is always active. Um, and I don't need the flag to be honest. Um, so window is active now. And now what is important here is the access assign. So everything should be in theory already set up. It takes the information we have pre-set up from Falcon BMS. Um, this is important uh, as it's already everything here is pre-set up and you can switch from different views and it's definitely working. So it's already there and you can have a quick heads up on what you want to do and you can check some of the options including the pilot model and a couple of things that might be interesting. Um, the key mapping, that is important. For those coming from other sims, not to name them, uh, this is an easy way to set up your controls, um, especially when it comes to the OTAS. And for example, I'm going to check for the stick. And what I'm going to do, so you see the stick, the throttle, the rudder, and that is going to be handy because I'm definitely going to add um, a couple things from here when it comes to uh, the TMS, for example, if I want to have TMS, then TMS up, you have the keys allocated to that. And if I want to change what I want here, I'm going to press, for example, on joystick, allocate the TMS. So clear DX, clear key. Oops, no, sorry. No. So I'm going to press joystick, so DX67, save it and now as you can see TMS up has been assigned now TMS down same thing I'm saving it TMS left there we go save it right save it and you're going to do that for all the keys that you require it's fairly easy fairly simple I do recommend that you stick um, or at least spend some time here it's going to be I know it's going to be a long process at some point. You need to do a couple things. Um, don't forget to tick this one, especially if you have the Warthog with the boat um, uh, key um, button, sorry. It's definitely 
going to work with that, uh, especially when you need to have the uh, overwrite. Uh, the, uh, this one is definitely going to be used. Um, so I do recommend spending some time with it um, because it will help a lot when it comes to um, making your own configuration on your throttle, on your stick. In theory, if you have the Warthog, the Warthog stick is exactly the same as the F-16, except for one key that does not exi exist in the real plane, which is uh, the uh, CMS press, um, which does not exist in the real plane. Um, so uh, except from that, uh, and usually CMS press is the um, the panic switch on the wall, on the left wall that I assign it to. Uh, do as you wish. There's no right and wrong. It's your configuration and you need to do what you need uh, in order to be comfortable with your setup. Um, now, uh, getting Falcon uh, Alternative Launcher out, uh, there is one file that I want to um, show you before we close that tutorial and that one is pretty important. If you want really to have your custom setup, um, it's important that you go through it. So we're going to go back into input devices and there we got the key file editor. This is an Excel sheet um, that you can um, use for your needs um, and if you want to have your customized profile you can go through this excel sheet and it will actually uh, help you into getting your own setup of the uh, key file that you want so uh, don't hesitate to go through it there is a complete manual as you can see 3 meg it's containing a lot of information for you to actually go through it and understand how it works it's a bit of a process, but if you want to have the top-notch configuration customized to your needs, understanding how it works and everything like that, especially if you want to have different setups, Alternative Launcher is able to do priest and, and detent on the, on the buttons. Um, that is explained very well in the key file manual uh, and everything is, everything is explained in there. It's um, really, 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 uh, I would say, higher level in terms of how to do it, but it's an alternative way of doing it as well. So just don't forget that exists and that you have those information uh, at, at your, um, at, at, I would say, uh, at, at your reach and that you can do stuff with it. So. I hope it covered most of the requirement that you probably have when you start with your BMS configuration. Um, the graphics settings are definitely up to you. Um, everyone has a different video gra uh, graphics card. I have my own settings. People have their own settings. I could actually share that in a future video on how to set it up, but I know it might change in future versions of BMS, so it might not apply to something that is... Um, uh, that will come in a future version of Falcon BMS. So I hope it helped you into getting more into detail on how to set up your joystick and not to be afraid of it. It's a bit of a long process uh, to start with, but once you've done that once, um, there is uh, nothing you need to set up in the later, in, in, in I would say, in future version of BMS. Usually, except if there is a new line for a new key or a new control in the plane setup, um, there is nothing else to do here. Um, I, I have, to be honest, my profile for quite a while and I haven't not changed it for a while. I'm using it for ages now. And once you've done that process once, um, it's staying here for quite a while, so it's a long process at the beginning, but once you've done it and you are satisfied with the way your joystick is behaving, I recommend stick it, uh, sticking to it and making sure that um, it doesn't change uh, in the long process because obviously it will help you a lot. All right, so I hope you enjoy the video. I'm uh, definitely going forward, and so don't hesitate to bring your own comments into it. And uh, if you need to see other tutorials, especially uh, if you're a newcomer on, on BMS and you need to have more information on how to set it up, 
Um, there is also the Falcon Lounge. A lot of people have helped others over the years. So don't hesitate to um, ask us. Um, comment on that video. It's always helpful for me to understand what are your main troubles and issues. And hope to see you soon on Falcon Lounge or in other videos. Um, until then, have uh, good flights on Falcon VMS and see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.